Welcome to video number one in our series, Advanced IT Refreshers for Connoisseurs. My name is Doris Edwards, and today I'm going to show you how to add a secondary axis to your Excel chart. But what exactly is a secondary axis? Have you ever wondered how to compare two different types of data in the same Excel chart? For example, you could show on the primary axis how much money you made each month from selling biscuits, and at the same time, on the secondary axis, how many biscuits you physically shipped during that same period. Inside this video, I will talk about how to create a simple column chart, how to add a secondary axis, and how to format the various elements so that your chart looks good. Let's start by displaying another example. This is the one we are going to create together from scratch. The chart refers to the PISA study on education. Specifically, we want to show whether there is any correlation between the money spent on education and the performance of the students. A hot subject. If we look at the numbers, column B represents the student's performance in points, and column C shows the money invested. Whilst the numbers give us some idea about performance, you will agree that charts are better at making results obvious. In this case, we immediately observe that Finland's spending is clearly lower, but students' performance is the highest. At this stage, I need to point out that these numbers are fictitious. However, the outcome of the famous PISA study did designate Finland as the best performing country. As you can see, this chart has two axes. We call the left axis the primary axis and the right one the secondary axis. By now, I'm sure you're impatient to see how we do all this. We start with the first point, creating a simple column chart. Creating basic column charts is probably nothing new for connoisseurs. I quickly walk you through it without comments. Please note that in this demo we are using Microsoft Office 2007. If you are still running version 2003, please wait until the end of this clip. I have recorded the steps for version 2003 as well. With the chart created, we are ready for the second point, adding a secondary axis. We select the data series to which we want to attribute the secondary axis. In our case, the results in points series. Rather than selecting it with the mouse, Sometimes it is easier to do it using the Layout tab. Once selected, I press the Format Selection command and attribute the secondary axis to this data series. The resulting display is not useful at this stage. As a next step, we need to apply a different chart type to the selected series. In many cases, a line chart gives the best contrast. And we immediately begin to see the pattern. The third point is about formatting the different chart elements. Let's add data labels and make the chart look pretty. First, I select the Money Invested series, I click in one of the red columns and choose what is appropriate on the Layout tab. Then, I do the same with the results in Point series, the blue lines. Depending on how you feel, you can change the colors and apply all sorts of other formatting options to the labels. And this brings us to the end of this show. As is often the case when we work with computers, once we know where to look, the procedures are quite easy. The secret is knowing where to look. That's why we love creating these refresher videos. We hope that secondary axis will help you display complex data more clearly. Thanks for watching.